When a person goes into the BMV to get their temps for the very first time, they will be asked about organ donation. It's one of the first adult decisions that you will make as a teenager. When anybody else says yes to donation, their name goes on what's called the Ohio Donor Registry. Once a person has said yes, they will not be asked again. However, a person is never locked into a decision. We know that most people across the country, as well as in the state of Ohio, do believe in organ donation. But not all of those people say yes to donation. And that's okay. The most important message is to make sure that those people understand what the options are and let their families know how important that is. Six years ago, my dad um, passed away because he needed a kidney transplant. He always had hope that he would eventually be given a kidney, but it never happened. We lost our son uh, 14 years ago this June in a car accident. Him becoming a donor uh, gave life to a man that uh, needed the heart. My younger brother was born with a disease called hypoplastic left heart syndrome, which basically means he didn't have half of his heart. And so immediately he was placed on the organ transplant list. My son was 18 uh, when uh, he unfortunately was killed. And so he became a donor at that point and was able to save four lives. There are many, many people who are on the waiting list. And I know if they just receive the transplant they need, I know they would be extremely grateful for it. Can't imagine what my life would be like if he did receive the transplant. He had to wait four years for his heart transplant. He got to do everything that a little kid would want to do. So Jonah joined a baseball team, he joined a football team, he joined a wrestling team. It was like, what can Jonah not do now that he has a brand new heart? I think that's one of the most sacred things is a person's life. And the fact that Zach can donate and help other people to live their lives longer, I think is tremendous. Every year, there's about 2,000 uh, Ohioans that get, get their sight restored through a corneal transplant. People would assume, well, you know, you're taking the whole eye. The eye is going to be replaced. And it's not the eye. The cornea is just the clear covering over the eye. Their eyes are still going to be the same color as they are before the surgery. All the transplants that are needed for donation are the heart, the lungs, the liver, your kidneys, your pancreas, and your small intestine. There are so many things that can lead to needing an organ transplant anywhere from cystic fibrosis to kidney failure. For example, a burn patient that might be burned over 50% of their body, they would receive a skin graft to allow the person's own skin to heal and to grow again. Bone transplants, uh, would happen in a case where somebody might have a spinal fusion or maybe somebody has bone cancer and they're able to receive healthy bone from a deceased donor. Another type of uh, tissue donation could be a ligament or a tendon and you hear that mainly for athletes. Organ, tissue, and eye donation is incredibly rare. Only about 1% of people die in such a way that they can actually become an organ donor. This can usually happen after somebody has had an uh, injury to the brain, whether that be from a car accident or a heart attack and their heart stopped. But whatever might have happened, it's caused significant injury to their brain. When that happens, a uh, patient can be declared brain dead. Now, this isn't a coma. This isn't something that people can recover from. It's irreversible. It's a, actually a legal definition of death. There is absolutely no brain activity going on, and you can see that by a number of different studies. It's incredibly important for people to register to be an organ donor. If you're registered with the BMV, you can be confident that everybody is going to do what they can to honor your wishes and make sure you can be an organ tissue and eye donor. So there are things that, that are set out in the community, set out in media that are not the truth. And it is important to know those facts so that a person, when they make that decision, that really important decision, they make it knowing the facts. 
being educated instead of just what other people have told them or what they've heard. I think one of the myths that many people may have about being an organ donor is whether they can have an open casket funeral or not. The surgery um, takes place in such a way that there is no visible evidence of any of the surgery or anything. I was able to see my son post-surgery prior to the funeral and there was you couldn't tell any difference. He just looked, he was, he was my son. One of the big misconceptions is that if I'm a registered donor, doctors are not gonna do their best to save me. Having worked in the hospital, I assure you that is not the truth. They take an oath, they take the Hippocratic Oath and one of the first things is to do no harm. They don't know whether someone's going to be a donor, whether someone's registered to be a donor. Their ultimate goal is to save and heal lives. My generation, like, they don't know much about it. Like, a lot of people don't even know what organ donation is. I just tell them that they match the person with someone who's compatible with them based off, like, blood type. They don't base off of race or gender or um, any illnesses you may have. That's not what they base it off of. Shimano was a wonderful young man smart, funny, believed in helping. Shimada was very caring and loving. If he felt that you might need help, he would help you. Shimada was passionate about football, but if you told Shimada he was just a football player, that would upset him. His character, his love to want to give back, that's what made him remarkable. When Shimada told me he wanted to become an organ donor, um, well, I just said, uh, I don't really know about that, son. And he said, Dad, you always told me if you ain't giving back, what are you doing? I can help somebody else, somebody else that maybe could change the world and give them a second chance at life. Unbelievable. On September 25th, 2014, Shimada was on his way to football practice, riding his motorcycle, which he did quite often. When I received a phone call, she told me he was in an accident and he was hurt really bad. So Shimada didn't make it. Mm -hmm. Shimada was 19 when the accident occurred. I would want the young people to know that when they check that box, this decision changed lives, but also can change the world. You never know who you are saving, who will make an impact on the world. Shimada's decision to become an organ donor um, made a big impact on a lot of people's lives. I can say Shimada's my hero. Definitely made me a better man, better father. Really, if you ain't giving back, what are you doing, truly? The personal impact of organ, tissue, and eye donation is much like a ripple in a pond. It spreads out and spreads out beyond your wildest imaginations. It gives them a way of leaving a legacy for their loved one and leaving a history of goodness and, and changing the world for the better. I think it's a gift that people don't realize is a gift. I think with organ donation, it's, it's a gift that comes from the heart. I remember going and getting my driver's license for the first time and like anxiously waiting for them to ask me that question. What I think people need to know when they go to the BMV is that it's as easy as just saying yes. Like you're not gonna be asked a million questions. It's not gonna be a stressful or a challenging answer. All you need to do is say yes and it's gonna be something that's so monumental to someone else. It's a little question, it means a lot. Are you willing to save eight lives? and heal more than 50 people. Are you willing to do that? People who choose organ donation uh, absolutely make a difference in people's lives. They're really heroes. I definitely think organ donation is a gift, not only to the person that's going to be receiving the transplant, but to everyone else. They gave my whole family another chance at life together. <laughs>